No, oh, somebody's got a cone on their head. What a sad day it is. Hey, 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 it's Fat Albert. Nope, it's uh, Street Speed, and I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, I'm doing a little bit of, I, I'm sorry to say this, I hate to admit it, but I'm doing a little bit of cheating on the Dirty Max. Please don't tell her. Uh, she is going to be gone for a few days, getting a few new mods, and while she's gone, I picked up a 2019 Silverado Trail Boss to have some fun with. Terrible, I know. But I really wanted to make a video on this truck because this was the reveal truck when they did the big reveal for the new uh, gen, uh, for their new gen pickup truck, the new gen Silverado. And I've done a review on a 2019 Silverado. I think it was an LT, just an LTZ or whatever, but I haven't done one on the Trail Boss. And this one to me is the coolest version of the new truck. I think it looks really cool. I love the front end. And I know the looks overall are still controversial, but I think the Trail Boss looks really cool. It's kind of like leveled from the factory and hopefully the camera isn't directly into the sunlight. Let me go over here actually, so you can see better. What am I doing? I've only been doing this for four years. I ought to know by now. But yeah, I think the Trail Boss looks really, really cool. It's basically leveled from the factory. It has a two inch lift. We'll get into all that, but I love the front end. It's all blacked out. And of course the inside is cool as well. All right guys, well, sitting inside the 2019 Silverado Trail Boss, no surprise, it is a great place to be like most new trucks are. You know, I often tell people, you know, I have an 05 Duramax and the difference between a 1995 pickup truck and a 2005 pickup truck isn't really that crazy, right? The materials are kind of the same. The tech is kind of the same. It's not a huge leap, but going from an 05 to a 2015, well, that's a big leap. That's like you're in totally, you're in a totally different world. And this truck is no exception. The trucks, they just keep getting better and better. And uh, GM has listened to the criticisms I think a lot of people had, and they've improved on a lot, which we will talk about. Uh, mainly the infotainment center is great. Apple CarPlay now available, which it has been for a couple of years. Um, but the really kind of the ergonomics of the steering wheel and everything in here is really good. And I think GM does a good job of having a combination between touch screen and a conventional button, which is something they, uh, they seem to do really well. But anyway, now moving on to the features and this truck has a lot of them. So buckle up. Maybe you want to go grab a snack or a soda or something. Uh, because we do have a lot of features. We have a capless fuel fill. I'm not going to go over all the all the stupid stuff that every vehicle has, uh, but we do have a two-speed transfer case with auto track. We have the trailering package. So we have a trailer hitch uh, right from the factory, seven pin and four pin connectors. We have hitch guidance. We do have the rear vision camera. Now this is cool. There's a couple ways to utilize this. Number one, of course, like a regular backup camera. It's got the lines and everything in the screen here and it's back there right on the tailgate. But also you can utilize the camera with the infotainment system. So you can press a button here and you can look at the camera and that will show you the back of the truck. And it's kind of cool. You can check on your, your trailer or whatever back there. And it does default back to the normal screen after I think it's 10 or 15 seconds, but it is cool. You can check that while you're driving and you can really have it on the whole time if you want, if you want to look behind you for whatever reason. Maybe if somebody's tailgating you, you can turn on the camera and see what they look like for later. All right guys, and now for the cool stuff, the stuff that you really wanna hear about, this being the Trail Boss. So what is the Trail Boss? Well, it's a lot more than just a couple of stickers on the outside of the truck. Uh, it actually does come with a lot. So we've got off-road suspension with uh, Rancho monotube shocks, as you can see. We've got a little uh, lift block in the back underneath the Leafs. We have hill descent control and a skid plate. Got a heavy duty air cleaner and an auto locking rear differential and the Z71 hard badge, which you can see up on the front fender. Uh, but going back to the off-road suspension with the Rancho shocks. Uh, now this truck does come with a two inch lift from the factory. Now most guys, when they get a truck, they want to level it, right? So they go out, they go out and they get aftermarket uh, torsion bar keys, or they put a spacer in their front um, coilover. I'm sorry, I had to do a whole edit. I couldn't think of the word, but they put a little spacer up in the spring. They basically, most guys want to have their truck sitting level. You know, most trucks from the factory come with a forward rake, and the reason for that is uh, definitely towing. Number one, because when you're towing, uh, that kind of evens out. Generally, a truck's going to squat, and you don't want to be going down the road like this with your truck squatting up, unless you're into that. Some guys are. I'm sure you know. Know, aerodynamics and fuel economy plays a role too because the truck pointed downwards is going to be better for aero if you care about fuel economy which uh, i definitely don't but yeah two inch lift from the factory very cool and it definitely looks great plus you get those very beefy beefy off-road tires which you can definitely hear when you're driving it uh it was one thing i noticed it's very quiet the truck in here it's actually great it's one of the most quiet uh trucks i've ever heard you can barely hear i mean if you had the radio on which i didn't um, but I could barely hear cars going by. So if you had the radio on, you know, at any decent volume, you can't hear anything on the outside, which is really cool. It feels 
Uh, like, it'd be, I feel like this truck would be great for long trips. Um, so it was very quiet, but the one thing I could hear was the tires, and it's something I didn't hear with the base model Silverado. So that's kind of cool. You can hear. I actually like the sound. I like a little bit of tire hum, um, but that's just me. You know, some people might not like that, but if you get a truck that looks like this and is lifted up from the factory even, and you get those big chunky tires on there, you have to expect you're going to sacrifice a little bit of something. Just real quick, going back to the suspension, you know, a lot of people might hear two inch and be like, well, two inches, that's nothing. But trust me, visually, it makes a huge difference with the truck. And as any guy will tell you, two extra inches, it's a big deal. Trade to the Duramax? No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, like I said, we got the skid plate, we got the heavy duty air cleaner. I guess if you're driving through a really dusty area or maybe you're driving underwater, you want to make sure you can still breathe. Team driver mode, stability track with trailer sway control and hill start assist. OnStar service is capable, subject to terms, see OnStar.com. Now onto the bed, the part that makes a truck a truck. So the tailgate, like a lot of new trucks, is power operated. There is quite a few different ways to utilize this. Number one, there's a button on the tailgate itself you can press. Uh, so that's probably kind of the most obvious way where the normal handle would be like on an old truck like mine. Uh, there is also a button here on the center stack you can use to operate that right here on your control panel. It's own dedicated button down with the auto stop start and the hazards and traction control. And then there is the key fob itself you can use. If you double tap uh, the one little button there, you can open the tailgate with that as well. 12 fixed DuraBed tie downs in the back, each one rated at 500 pounds, LED DuraBed lighting, dual exhaust with bright trim. Now this is one of the features that I do find a little bit strange because the exhaust trim isn't real. I mean, it's it's close to real because the exhaust butts up right against it kind of, but if you look inside, you can see the exhaust is a just a cut pipe, just a, a circle pipe. And then you got these extravagant looking borders on the bumper. So as a guy who's gonna change that, I actually saw one going down the road about a month ago and it was side piped at the bottom. So you could see the side pipes and then the back still had the cutout. So it looked like the truck had four different exhausts um, when of course it doesn't. So I, I, I don't know. I mean, I guess if you're gonna leave it stock, it doesn't look bad, but to me, I don't like, you know, the integration of the exhaust into the bumper because then I gotta look at it and say, well, I have to buy a whole new bumper now, which I would probably do anyway, so who cares? Hey, you fire it up, you hear that V8. It's not very loud, it is a factory exhaust, but uh, you can definitely hear it's got a nice deep growl to it. We have the front, black bow tie, which I think the front end is really cool. And I know this is probably the part that people either love or hate the most. It might be the most controversial part of the truck besides those damn mirrors. But uh, I think it looks really cool. And I love the blacked out look of the Trail Boss, again, with the blacked out bow tie. And I think the lights look really mean, all the different LEDs and that you can turn different ones on. I think it's really cool. And I get it, you know, it, it's very different. So you look at it at first and you might not like it, but give it some time. And I promise you, I think the front end, a lot of people are going to warm up to it. And I plan to build one of these trucks when the 2500 comes out and you can actually order one because I wanna show people just how cool you can make it. Definitely love the front end, I think it's badass. And then in the back, we do have the corner step rear bumper to help you get access to the bed. We have red, which I, I skipped that one, that's why we're going back to the truck. Now back to the front. Red front recovery hooks, we all know red means sporty, so they are red. Power adjustable heated outside mirrors, LED reflector headlamps, LED signature tail lamps, LED front fog lamps, LED daytime running lamps, Goodyear Wrangler Duratrac tires. Moving on to the inside of the truck, you know, I'm not gonna talk a ton about this because you guys basically know the deal. All new trucks are, are nice and everything. The materials are good, it's comfortable. Uh, but I do love, like I said, the infotainment center I think is awesome. And with the new Chevys, as with Ford and Dodge too, you can get a power outlet in the truck, which is great. Especially if you happen to be a YouTube car vlogger, you can charge your GoPro while you're driving, very convenient, or your laptop or whatever. So again, really a good truck for traveling uh, you can see we have heated seats you can adjust it whether you have one you want your ass heated or just your back or both whatever you want again all your buttons down here on the center stack your trailer control hill descent control auto stop start which i would turn off every time i got in the truck traction the hazards and down at the very bottom you have a usb port uh, two different ones and then a traditional cigarette lighter it's not really a cigarette lighter i mean that's from my day cars that but that's how old i am back in my day new cars came out and they still had an actual cigarette lighter uh, for you young bucks out there but this is a uh, 
This is where the cigarette lighter used to be. Now, I guess it's just kind of like the standard car outlet. Tons of space in the truck, as you would expect, not only for the people riding in it, but for all your crap. You got more plugs in the center console, which is massive, by the way. You could put like a you could put like a full regulation size basketball in the center console of these trucks. You also have the button here for the rear window that is automatic. And also plenty of room in the back seats. You got a little armrest and cup holders for your passengers and, and all that good stuff. And it's really, I mean, the leg room, is fantastic. And finally, in the new Chevys, because up until last year, you could have like a $70,000 truck and you would still have to use the key like an old vehicle. Now they finally got the engine stop start button, which I love, hallelujah. All in all, your 2019 Trail Boss is going to come out to 54,000 bucks, which honestly might sound like a lot of money, but it's pretty competitive in the truck game these days. And it's, I mean, you really get a lot for the money. Your standard price is 48K, so this one doesn't have a ton of options, but also the options really aren't that expensive. So if you get the convenience package too, and this truck is 1400 bucks and a McLaren, that would be like 15 grand. Truck also has the Bose premium sound system, which is really good. And then your trailer stuff, bringing your total options to 4,200, total vehicle and options, 52K, destination charge, 1,400, total price, and that is how you get the 54 Gs. Driving the 2019 Silverado Trail Boss, and I gotta tell you, this is the truck that did it for me. Now, I still have my 05, and I'm not gonna sell that, as you guys know, I would never sell it. But this is the truck that finally convinced me to get a new one, and that's kind of the announcement for this upload and why you know, I have a 2020 truck with that front end, because I do think, I'm pretty sure, I'm gonna order a 2020 2500 HD. I just really like the features, the transmission tuning is good, and I can't wait to try the new Allison. I think it's still a six speed but uh, they really have the tuning right for the gasser here. You know, every Chevy I drive, the transmission tuning gets better and better. So the, the first eight speeds were a little bit clunky and everything, now, now they got everything right. And I don't even know if this is a 10 speed or the eight speed, but who cares what it is? It, it drives really good and it's, it's always in the right gear. It doesn't have to hunt anymore, which I really like. All the new features are great, uh, you know, technology wise, it's really a step up from the, the last gen model just a year ago and it really makes me want a new one. Would I get a Trail Boss even though I am going to lift it myself? And I think the answer is yes. So if you're getting a gasser and you're not gonna modify it, definitely get the Trail Boss. It looks badass and it also works. You know, it's got the off-road stuff and uh, extra ground clearance is, is always a good thing even if you're not gonna go crazy with it. So I would definitely get the Trail Boss but I'm still gonna get it just because I love the blacked out front end and it's not really an expensive package, so that is worth it to me. And I think it look, it looks sick. We're doing a little off-roading right now, and nothing crazy. You know, it's not my truck, so I'm not going to do anything wild with it. Um, but it handles everything really well. We're only in two-wheel drive. But I can tell you in my truck, this would be so bumpy, and this thing is just like kind of gliding along. I mean, it's bumping a little bit, but it's just gliding along nice and easy. We've got some big ruts here, some big rocks. It just goes right over them. Shift from four wheel drive back to two and back to four again and whatnot is so easy and so smooth and so seamless. I mean, this truck really handles itself so well. This is definitely the truck that did it for me, boys. Definitely the one that finally convinced me. Yes, let me know in the comments down below what you think of my plans to order a 2020 2500 HD. If you did enjoy the upload, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Take care and have a great night.